Hey everybody, Div really here. Welcome to another audio log. Thank you for joining me to chat a bit about stuff. Alright, let's see. First, probably anyone listening to this has noticed that I posted the first episode of Trigger Kiss, and I really wish I could say that I had a schedule for it, but it's not going to be a regular release for several reasons. My translator for that one is Alorin, and I hope I pronounced that right, and she has a job and school to deal with, so she can only translate when she has time between everything. And not just that, but also, you know, once I get the translations from her, when uh, I go to subtitle it, I, you know, they have that comic book style uh, bubbles, speech bubbles, and it's really difficult to subtitle that way. It takes like four to five times longer to subtitle those videos than it does to just subtitle at the bottom. So it takes much, much longer to make those videos. A lot of people really seem to be interested in this game, and I really wish that I could release episodes more frequently and on a more regular basis, but unfortunately that one's going to be slow going. But I'm not going to give up on it, I'm going to be sticking with it, and it'll get done one way or the other. And you know, I really want to learn more Japanese, so maybe if I can start pushing my learning along, I can start helping her out some and make those releases a little more uh, frequent. And for the other game that I'm uh, working on that's being translated, uh, Rain de Fleur, I think Momoko and I are starting to get into the swing of things with that a bit, and I am still doing Leon as my first route in that game. I, I think some people were kind of mad that I did some Louis videos because they wanted to see Leon, but the thing is that I'm actually not done with the common route yet. I didn't realize that till I found a better walkthrough. I did think that was kind of a short prologue, turns out that wasn't the whole prologue. <laughs> So anyway, it turns out that we have to visit each of the guys individually twice. And then there's some event, and then that will be the end of the common route. And then I get to freely, officially pursue Leon. So don't freak out. I'm not switching on you. I'll still be after Leon as soon as the game actually allows. And speaking of rain, I'm so grateful to those of you who pledged a bit on Patreon to help with funding the translation costs. I was trying to think of some rewards for patrons besides being able to vote on future games that are, that are going to be translated. I'm thinking maybe when I do giveaways, patrons can get uh, more than one entry, and perhaps also patrons can vote on what order I pursue the guys in with the games. Because, you know, right now I just kind of let people, anybody in the comments, talk about who they want to see, and then I decide, based on between that and my own preference, but you know, that might be able to, that might be something that I can offer to patrons as a little bonus for contributing, giving them that bit of extra pull, making their opinions weigh in since they're helping me. But if anybody else has opinions or ideas about those, uh, let me know. Well, or any other ideas besides those thoughts. Okay, now with Norn 9, I know I thought it was ending much earlier than this. But I really am getting close to the ending this time. See, originally, I thought I was getting close when I got down to Natsuiko, but it turned out Natsuiko's route was longer than everybody else's. And then after Natsuiko was done, the short stories were all longer than I thought they would be. And then there's a few other extras that I'm going to read out. So I think after all the short stories are done, there's probably going to be two more episodes where I'm going to read off. They have the pictures, and the pictures each have these emotions that the people talk about they were feeling during the scenes. So they're kind of a little extra dialogue that we didn't actually get during the game. And then there's the thing where you get to hear... Uh, I'll explain it, the Norn Ensemble thing. I'll explain it when I actually do the video. It's hard to explain here. Uh, you have to kind of see what's going on. But basically, that'll be two more videos after the short stories. And then I will actually be moving on to Amnesia. Now for my first week of the Amnesia releases, I'm going to mention that I'm doing a giveaway for it. I have three copies of the game for Steam, so I figure a week should be a good amount of time for people to learn about the giveaway, hopefully. And I'm not sure how I should do the giveaway yet, though. Any suggestions? I'm going to do a bit of research, I suppose. Um, I know some people have done their giveaways through Twitter or Tumblr and such, but I'm not really sure what's a good way to do them. I've never done one before, and I've never really paid attention to how other people did them because I never really go in for those. But one thing's for sure, Anyone who wants a copy needs to either have a Steam account or to be able to make a Steam account, since they are Steam codes. So yeah, you know, uh, stay tuned, keep aware. If you're interested in getting a copy of Amnesia Memories, if you don't have one and you'd really like to play it, then 
like I said, I'll be doing that giveaway, giving away three copies of it. Okay, and another little tidbit. A while back, I started talking to some people who do a, their group of friends who do a shared channel called Fanfickle, and they're doing an Undertale dub, and they asked me to do the voice of Muffet. They finally released the first episode of their dub series a few days ago, and I'll link that in the cards and in the description. I'm not sure when they'll be releasing subsequent episodes, but whenever they get to the spider stuff, I'll be in there. <laughs> and I feel they did a really great job, great casting throughout, and it's worth taking a peek. I just have a small part since I'm just a Muffet, and I get to read a little bit about during the spider bake sale thing. But everybody in it does a really great job in this first episode of voice acting, and I expect the rest of it will be just as good. So check it out. It's, uh, it's fun. It's fun to watch. I think it's going to be great once it's finished. And lastly, I'm getting close to a thousand subscribers. That's a really big milestone for me. I can't believe it's so soon after Christmas too. Um, just everything took off after Christmas for some reason. January was a crazy good month for my channel's growth. And I have the feeling that I owe a lot of that to the Nor9 anime coming out. Probably people found my gameplay of it because they were looking for more about the anime. So I'm happy that I was lucky in that respect. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. But I also owe a lot to my friend Leonor, who did a lot of advertising for me and uh, gave me a lot of advice and stuff like that. Yeah, he's. I'll link him in my description again. And uh, he's also on my uh, other channel tab there. So he's a great guy. And um, he's very helpful to any new YouTubers. Great at giving advice and he's happy to do it. And he does his own Let's Plays too. You know, so he's great to check out and great to talk to. An all-around great guy. Well, you know, I'd really like to do something special when I hit a thousand subscribers, but again, my brain is just totally tapped out from working all the time, and I have no ideas at the moment. So maybe I'll get lucky and it'll be around the time I do the amnesia giveaway and I can cheap out and turn it into one thing. <laughs> or maybe I'll buy something else to do a giveaway with. Maybe I could do a bundle, like I could buy a copy of Dandelion and Nameless and Amnesia and like do one giveaway for all three games together or something like that. But really, like with the rewards, I'm open to ideas on this one too, because I'm just like brain dead with all the stuff I'm doing. I'm sorry that it's been a bit longer than usual since my last audio log, but yeah, still scrambling to keep up with the releases, though it is getting a little bit easier, uh, little by little for me. I'm figuring out a few ways to make things faster here and there, so eventually I'll get to the point where I actually have some me time again and time to actually sleep a full eight hours a night and stuff. Phew, the rushing is just giving me a bit of a hard time with my readings too because the anxiety of the time crunch kind of messes with my concentration and makes me stumble a bit, but you know, it'll even out sooner or later, hopefully sooner. I'm so torn about what to really concentrate on once I get a little bit of extra time again, though, if I ever actually do. You all probably don't know this, but my other thing that I do besides uh, this is customizing one-of-a-kind dolls. Boy, my description section is going to be littered with links today. But um, I have quite a few dolls sitting around that I need to finish up and put in my Etsy store, because I can't just let all this stock sit around in my house forever. But then again, I also really want to get serious about studying Japanese as well, so I can eventually help Alrin out with her translations and maybe do other series as well. But you know, actually, I did always want to learn Japanese for a number of reasons anyway, not just for games and anime and stuff. But uh, right now, my biggest incentive for learning Japanese is this, I mean, this is a pretty huge pull on me for learning that. <laughs> I mean, this is kind of a long way into the future, but I don't know if we're getting... I, I don't see any English Otome games being released anytime soon. Not specific dates anyway. There is one that says it's supposed to be released early this year, but there, like I said, no specific date. Barring those, as far as I know, after Amnesia, I'm going to read Nameless because I've, I've really wanted to play that one. I might do Hakuoki and Sweet Fuse, but I'm not completely sure. I guess by the time I finish Nameless, I'm not really going to know that much Japanese. So I probably will keep going down that line. But if at some point I actually learn enough to actually start translating some on my own, I might not bother with English games anymore. I might just, or old ones at least, I might go ahead and just stick with translating Japanese games because, you know, it's something that other people aren't really providing. So I figure I'm more useful in that capacity. 
But like I said, that's a long way in the future, and uh, right now it's more of a dream than anything. <laughs> so that's all the news for today that I can think of. Thank you so much for stopping by to listen to my audio log. I hope to see you in some of my other videos later. Bye-bye, everybody.